inside of it with six gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared in the background, so let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. So I'm going to App Stores, three, two, one. I think the iPhone 15 is probably better. The iPhone 10 slightly slower, but not a big massive deal. It's going to clock three, two, one. The iPhone 15 definitely faster here. Camera three, two, one. Once again, the iPhone 15 was the faster one. Photos three, two, one. Again, the 15 is the faster one. Settings three, two, one. Again, the 15 faster. Getting into some of these other applications, we can try Genshin Impact actually three, two, one. This is a massive game. I'm sure it's going to take a little bit of time on the iPhone 10. But we'll just go and kind of let it go and kind of see how they kind of perform from that you know point on. You can see the iPhone 15. I will definitely tell you it's going to be the faster one. And you can see it did get into it faster. The iPhone 10, once again, it's gonna take its time. It's not a big deal or anything, but that's just one of those things to kind of keep in mind there. Hopping out of both of these, even getting out of an app seems to be a little bit of a glitchier experience on the iPhone 10. Temple run two, three, two, one. And this is not that big of a game, but even to get into the loading panel. You can see how much faster it is on the iPhone 15. We're already into the game technically on the iPhone 15. The iPhone 10, a little bit of a pop-up, but you can still see the 15 would have been probably faster regardless. So, I mean, do we wait for the iPhone 10? It took a substantially longer amount of time on this particular device. So, it's just one of those things to keep in mind here. You're going to be getting a faster phone on the iPhone 15 for sure, pretty much in every single way. Stack, three, two, one. You can see the 15 is pretty much done. The 10 is art is to get into it. But here's the thing. This is going to trickle down into every other way of performance. Even there, you kind of saw. Like, it's going to be the faster phone in every single one. If you're playing a game, you don't want it to glitch up. Just like how it glitched up right there, you don't want it to glitch up in those moments. So you're definitely going to be getting faster just everything on the iPhone 15 for sure. Facebook, three, two, one. Actually, the iPhone 10 was faster there. That was kind of surprising. We can try another one. We can try like Snapchat 321. I am logged in here though, so keep that in mind. But you can even see right here, the 15 would have been faster regardless. And you can even, we can try a different app like Roblox or something, but you kind of get the idea. Without a doubt, the iPhone 15 is the faster phone in every single way. No matter which way you look at it, you're going to be getting a faster phone on the iPhone 15. The 10 is still decent for how old this phone is, but the 10, you know, just doesn't hold up that well against the 15 anymore. So that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the camera side of things, once again, you're...